Okay. I spoke to both fighters in the dress room. I'll cross you again. Obey my commands at all times. Shake hands. Good luck. This might get interesting from the get-go. Of course, my partner here, Hernando Hernandez, lost that world title. I hate to bring that up. Well, I mean, to, you know, in 1998. It happens. It happens. I lost it to this wonderful champion, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Very quick fighter. I mean, uh, hey, I don't take anything away from him. He's a great champion, and we're going to see an explosion right now. I don't know what attitude uh, Diego's taking. He looks pretty calm after that insulting welcome mm. he got from the rappers who were right in his face and just absolutely insulting him in every way they can, from his personal life to his professional life. But that has no bearing once they get going here. You see the height advantage from Chico Corrales. Pretty boy Floyd, very quick. You watch him stick and move in and out. He's hard to hit, hard to track him down. How do you track him down, Bernardo? You know what? With a fighter like Floyd Mayweather, you have to work him to the body, make him, make him try to make a mistake, and you count him. I mean, with, with the speed that he got, you're just going to have to wait for him to make a mistake or, or see an opening where, like right now, try to work his body instead of look for his head. Hitting on the clutch right there was Corrales. And obviously the people here, the audience here, they're here to watch Chico. And the, and the reason why is because, oh, and they just got stuck with a good overhand right by, by Mayweather. They went to the body down low there. Mayweather taking shots upstairs and downstairs. But, you know, the people here, the audience, they took, and the, you know, they took whatever that rapper was talking about. They took that real deep. And they were booing Floyd every time you know, when he got announced. Floyd trying to come across the top with a very quick punch. You see the extreme quickness. And it looked like Chico was just smiling at him. Yeah, Andrew Corrales hasn't quite found out what he wants to do yet. The first round studying him is almost got him with a good, good body shot thrown by, good by combination. Chico. Good combination thrown by Chico. The crowd's going wild. Of course, Floyd's home turf is Detroit. But you'd have to say near Sacramento, California, Las Vegas. Tonight's probably going to be Chico's turf. Now, you have to watch for a few things from Corrales. Short shots to the body and head. Good. He has good hooks, He's good uppercut. He's a very accurate puncher. Very accurate. A sharpshooter, they call him. And that long looping jab didn't quite find its mark right there. Inside one minute round one of a schedule. 12 rounder. Chico, the WBC Super Featherweight Champion. Chico taking his time, moving in side to side, not giving, not giving Mayweather a straight off uh, opponent. He's working right there. We saw some pretty good shots to the side, by, thrown by Chico. That was a quick. Look how quick Floyd is. But you see, look, look how open he leaves himself, and look the way he comes walking in. He could be vulnerable for a left hook. I know that you were saying that perhaps. Corrales should work on the shoulders and the body of Floyd to slow him down, get those arms down. Like right there, right, right now. There. He there you go, good right hand on the inside. By, by Chico. He's working up and down, he's working those arms. Whenever you got a fighter who has that arm down and he and he protects himself with the left shoulder, why not hit him in the muscle? You can see we have quite a matchup just from that first round. And uh, these are two great fighters. There's there's the dad. There's a quickness of Floyd right there. Floyd being very, very precautious, throwing his jabs to the body. Chico walking, to being, to being calm, bobbing and weaving a little here, moving his head from side to side, trying to avoid those punches, those quick punches of, of Floyd. There, go, there goes Chico trying to corner Floyd Mayweather. He's going to track him down. The champ is in the black trunks, Mayweather. And Chico, when he goes to war, he wears his camouflage trunks. We're in round two of the schedule, 12 rounder. There's a short little uppercut. Richard Steele stepping in there to break him, but he didn't have to do anything really. You can see how measured Diego Corrales is because he can show those. There's a nice flicking jab that got inside. As I was saying, he can hit you with some all angles. He can come from all angles. Yeah, and Floyd threw a good body shot there that was part that was blocked by 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 Chico. Chico walking in, trying, trying to walk his way in, trying to work the body. 
Floyd Mayweather doesn't want any part of that. He's moving side to side, doing a good job of sidestepping. There's a good body shot thrown by Chico, and right away, Floyd gets into a, into a clutch. Good left hook thrown by Floyd Mayweather. Good overhand right thrown. Now he's trying to unload a little bit, uses quickness. He lashes out like a king snake when he's when he's able to unload because he is very quick. You see how he works in and out, flashing that. Now he's up on his toes, moving. And the problem for Corrales is going to be to find it. Floyd racking up just enough points, but Diego wasn't hurt. Diego's was very precautious. He's, he's, he's very aware of what Floyd's doing. Floyd doing a very good job of, of moving, not standing still to receive any punches. There goes Chico with his left hook, blocked by Floyd Mayweather. Good combination thrown by Floyd. Floyd's piling up the punts, and Chico is throwing wildly. He can't seem to find him. Now he's got him cornered, and then Floyd ties up, which is a smart thing to do. He's not allowing Morales to throw his punches. And that's the smartest thing to do. When you got a heavy puncher like Morales, right there, you just got connected with a good right left uppercut. Thrown by Mayweather. This is a terrific. Now look at the fake, the fake right hand, and that can get you in trouble. But if he's that confident, let him do it. You see, Floyd is Floyd received a lower blow, but that's because he held on to Morales' neck. He held him down. Yep. Good left hook done by, by Floyd. Of the WBC Super Featherweight Championship fight in Las Vegas, Floyd Mayweather Jr. is the champion in the black trunks. Diego Corrales, the former IBF champion who gave up that title, but is a champion in his own right. Both fighters come in undefeated. Both turned pro in 1996. Right there, the very, the very quick the body movement that Floyd has made Corrales miss, and, and look at the hand speed of, of Floyd. That is classic Floyd Mayweather Jr. Really feeling confident now, but if he makes a mistake, he would suffer. He pay for it. Corrales with that power, he's just taking his time working. Yeah, he's getting connected with some punches here and there, but. He's just waiting for Floyd Mayweather to make a mistake. Well, this is sort of the stuff you encountered when you fought Mayweather because he's so quick. And there's a good left hook thrown by, by Chico that connected. And there's a good right uppercut thrown by Chico that connected. And Floyd grinning at Chico. See how quick Chico is. We can't take anything away from him either. He's good there's an right. elbow that almost. Good over hand right thrown Look by Chico. Look at Diego. Now he's talking to him and said, all right, let's get it on. Chico, very calm, going forward, not losing his head. Little by little moving, he's getting connected, but he's not losing his head. He's, he's, he's keeping his composure real good. He got, he just connected a good left hook to the right, to the right side of Floyd Mayweather. Floyd yes. Mayweather with his, with his quickness, with his speed, managed to get away from the ropes. You can see that Corrales has got that right hand cocked and ready if he sees an opportunity. He's been working the left hand, but you'll see every time he gets a chance to throw the right, the, the left, the right is sitting right there ready to go. Yeah, Corrales just waiting. He's just waiting. He's waiting. He's waiting to see when he can connect, when he can connect his power punches. And that's the smart thing to do. You know, you let you leave Floyd throw his two, three punch combination. That's right, a right hand. Right there, which almost, a good, it, he just missed that punch. Almost was the type of punch, a classic Corrales punch if it had landed. What we've been talking about from all angles, he comes from all angles. He's almost six feet tall, so at 130, he's a rangy type guy who can back can fight up. inside and outside. Inside and outside. Right now, he seems very, very calm, even though Floyd obviously is going to win style points, but style points don't necessarily win fights. Yeah, Floyd fighting very smart, intelligent fight, just moving, snapping his jab, moving in and out. He's keeping Cor Corrales from being able to land those solid punch right there. He threw a very good punch of the body. But in return, he received a right hand by Floyd Mayweather. Well, it's been a matter of catching if you can for Corrales.
Trying to catch up with him in the final half a minute of that round. There's the father. Boyd Sr. said he wasn't going to be here, but I guess he couldn't take it. He had to come. Hey, it's your son. Go to make it easy. Okay. He got it. Listen, he can't. You got to keep coming. All right? You keep running what you're running to. Keep down the stretch. Then we'll sit down and, and show him what it's all about. Hey! You got the working behind your jacket. Okay, look here. Look uh -huh. here. Keep throwing the overhand right. Uh -huh. You remember that weak on counter? Yeah. Straight right hand in the body. Yeah. Take a look at some of the action. There's that right hand. Mm -hmm. Floyd Mayweather was throwing that jab. You notice that he drops that, that left hand every time. Diego Corrales came over with the right hand and connected it. There's a, the vision that, that Mayweather has, being very aware of what's going on, that way he can avoid getting hit. Both fighters very calm and confident about what they're doing in there. And we knew it was going to be a terrific matchup. Considering these two styles, we're in the round four now. So Good straight job, jab by Diego Corrales. Nice little jab inside to, to set things up, could do some damage. If, uh, Roger wants uh, Roger Mayweather wants his nephew to keep coming. I he thought he rode his bicycle a little wants, bit in that last round. Well, what, he, what he's doing is he's, te he's telling Floyd Mayweather to move, to move that, that Diego has to keep coming. He has to keep coming in, and that's where he's taking advantage of it. So, and, that, and that's what he's doing. He's making Diego come to him. Exactly. And I've always, and, I, and, I, and I've always told everybody that I've talked to so far that you have to make Mayweather come to you because he's a good counter puncher. So you make him come to you. But part of the strategy for Mayweather coming in was to avoid a brawl. Now, if he gets in there, he gets a throw with a right hand, hand on the right. time. And he's smiling. A, that means he probably hurt him. It was a double overhand right. The first one wasn't connected, but the second one was. And back came Mayweather with a good stiff jab. Nice punch. I tell you, Diego doesn't get many opportunities, but when he gets them, he takes advantage of them. Especially off the break. You get tied up, you got to be careful. Protect yourself at all times. Corrales had him in the corner briefly, and then Floyd danced out of it. What great footwork this young man has. You see, and he's smart. He knows when to, when to clinch, when to hold, and when to get out the way. So that's what makes Floyd Mayweather a very hard fighter to fight because he doesn't give you that opportunity to throw those punches. Yeah, you like right there, he'll stay there and receive one or two, but then he'll move he'll or move. he'll clinch you. That was a good body shot from Corrales, who's been a little more active this round. Now Chico's gonna have to, he's gonna have to go in there and, and, and you know, not look for the head all the time, look for the chest and the arms. I mean, go in there and throw a couple of good hard shots to the arm and to the chest where, where Floyd may feel it. Later on in the, during the fight. Floyd Mayweather Jr. is much more defensive in this fight than, of course, he was against good Andrew Burke. Slip There's a it. good shot inside, and then Floyd tries to counter over the top. Now he's going to work his combination, but Corrales isn't backing up. He keeps coming in. And I see a little red, a little red marking on the right eye of Chico Corrales. Right underneath the, well, right above the cheekbone. Well, that was interesting for a while. Like I was saying, Floyd is much more cautious than he was back in Detroit. A like good slapping ball. right hand to the to the to the left ear of Chico Corrales, thrown by Floyd Mayweather. Final 15 seconds of round four of a scheduled 12 rounder. Corrales doing anything he can to try to land a punch, including trying to tie him up. There's a nice combination that got inside. Corrales kind of flashes a smile. I wonder if that hurt him a little bit. But it's quick and it can dazzle you and make your eyes pop out of your head. <laughs> Here we are in round number five. Yeah, round number five. Look at Floyd coming out. Looks like he wants to get busy. But one thing he does not want to do is get into a brawl with this guy. You know, Floyd may not say this, but I believe that uh, that he's very aware, very cautious. I mean, you know, sometimes, right sometimes the nerves He's not going to say that he may be scared, but a scared fighter is a harder fighter to beat sometimes. Now he's up on the ropes where he doesn't want to be. He did land a jab to the chin of Diego Corrales. Now they're back in the center of the ring where Floyd has more room to operate. They wanted Corrales to start throwing combinations and punches and bunches is what they said, but it's hard to hit what you can't find. Well, it's hard. It's hard to throw punches when a guy is so quick and he is so agile to move. Like right there, you see when Corrales does try to throw punches, what does Floyd Mayweather do? He
crouches in, he gets in real close where Diego has trouble connecting punches. Diego. Good other hand right by Floyd Mayweather. Diego still not able to get off of this fight, and I wonder if he'll get frustrated toward the later rounds and just start throwing. There's a good stiff jab thrown by Floyd to the midsection of Diego Corrales. There's a nice jab there, too. Watch how Floyd throws it and backs out. Throws it and backs out. Corrales is left to stalk him. You're not going to wear any one of these guys out. Both are in the prime of their life. A good jab being connected by Floyd Mayweather. Both 23 years old coming in at the absolute top of their weight class and profession. Both He's right in the prime. Trying to make a bid for best pound for pound ranking in the world. A lot of it depends on what happens tonight, what kind of show they put on tonight. They've had three common opponents, Hector Arroyo, Angel Manfredi, and Justin Juco, as Corrales tries to get something done. And we saw Juco using a little bit more of his distance there, connecting some pretty good shots. And when we were looking at those common opponent stats the other day, Gennaro, it was amazing to me that all three of those fights, they handled both those fighters, those fighters exactly the same way. Just about. It was just a matter of rounds that were, or minutes, really. And right now we just saw Floyd Mayweather land a pretty good right uppercut. Yeah, Mayweather's very busy circling, working, throwing. Justin Juco has a right hand. hand by Just by right hand. hand. It didn't hurt Chico, but it caught him flush in the face. Didn't hurt him, but we saw the sweat fly. I think that Diego may come to the conclusion he's going to have to take some punches to get in there close enough to get anything well, done. I believe that's what he has to do. He has to go in there and take punches, and, and but at the same time, land a couple of them himself. Like right there, you know, don't go in there without throwing punches. Don't go in there. And make him realize that he's in a fight. He's going to have to get in there and get dirty. That's what we're saying. I'm not talking about fight dirty. I'm saying get your hands dirty. No, Go to work. It's round number six, and Floyd Mayweather is doing good. He's boxing. He's moving. He's making Chico loses his composure a little bit but you know obviously that's that's what you have to do sometimes with a fighter when you're fighting a guy like Floyd Mayweather. Nice flicking jab from both boxers on that little exchange right there. But I gotta tell you nice combination inside from Diego showing that he's got some quickness too. We talk about Floyd. Floyd trying to go down good double double left hooked on by by Chico and also he got connected by a good left hooked on by by Floyd himself. Floyd Getting some damage done with a combination inside, standing now toe to toe in the ring. That won't last long in the center of the ring unless he wants to try to really do some damage and he's that confident that he could maybe take Diego Corrales out, which is not in the game plan. You heard Roger in the corner tell him to go ahead and keep doing the fight smart. So this is no time to start fighting dumb. There's a nice little jab from Corrales who's beginning to find the range a little bit more. For the first five rounds, he's had a heck of a time trying to land a punch. He's had, he's had a lot of trouble trying to connect some punches. And, uh, and like you said, Roger Mayweather, his trainer and his uncle, is right there telling, telling Floyd to continue moving. There is nothing but a gym work out here. His legs were feeling good. And that they expect Corrales to have a harder time in the 10th round because that's when Floyd Mayweather supposedly is going to go and try to go toe to toe. Floyd's, against. Right. Floyd's got a major asset in those legs of his. His father, I can see him over in the corner, but he hasn't sat down yet. <laughs> he can't take it. He's not even, <laughs> he's just pacing around. The crowd wants to get a little bit more out of this fight, but that's what you get when you have a very stylish boxer. There's a nice, Right, that almost landed in the head of Floyd Mayweather. He he's respects Diego's quickness and he knows about Diego's power. There's a right hand over the top. I believe both fighters have a lot of respect for one another, even though they were bad mouthing each other, one another, saying that they were going to do this and do that. But obviously, we're seeing here that Floyd is using his intelligence, his footwork, his movement, and Diego's, I think, is going to start getting a little frustrated where he just got connected with good two right hands. That's a good combination. Two rights and left in there, and it took about a half a second to throw all three. Floyd doing pretty much whatever he wants to do, and the stalker is Chico. Chico is just trying, waiting, waiting. He's trying, waiting and waiting. He's trying to see an opening where he could counter and, and hurt. That's oh, a good, good left hook. hand. Oh, good left hook thrown by Mayweather. Mayweather. Nice. 
That was a powerful punch. That's a throw overhand right. That didn't come in. That was a big round, I think, for Mayweather. Bernardo, I really do. Man, that was quick. That's the second time he's hit him in the head, and we've seen Corrales' eyes cross. He's going to have to come up with some solution because uh, there's a no. up and down Drop. goes Corrales. He dropped Corrales with a left hook. Nice left hook that stunned Corrales. I don't think Corrales was expecting a quick left hook like that right away in the beginning of the, of, of the round. Now he's got some problems. He was, even, he was even surprised that he got caught with a left hook like that. Mayweather, the best show of his career. Look at him try to go in and finish now. That's what the champions do. Good combinations. We'll see if Corrales can come back and show what kind of fighter he's been all these years. Corrales again takes a good straight jab by thrown by, by Floyd Mayweather. And Corrales is not taking a step back. He's going forward. Yeah, he got stunned. He came out within the first half a second of that round. And Mayweather's extreme quickness and good power off that hook just knocked him down like a flash knockdown. And Floyd continues to score here. He's been controlling this fight. Corrales still trying to clear his eyes, I believe, Hanaro. He's trying to figure a way to get in there, but Floyd is doing a very good job in throwing a quick jab to the stomach and making Corrales stop his advancement. And there we see a good body shot thrown by Floyd Mayweather again. Good straight right. Good and straight good right. Hand again. You can see that Diego's trying to clear his eyes. We're in round seven of a scheduled 12. But in the first knockdown. First knockdown, Corrales, he's not used to that. The hand speed and the movement is making it a very difficult fight for, for, for Chico. Folks, you are seeing a classic boxer with extreme quickness from Mayweather. It makes it look beautiful, and the fans are admiring it. Good, great jab thrown by Floyd. Floyd moving, using the, the ring very good. Using his hands to be very good. Doing what he got to do to win a fight. I think Corrales is still, you see some concern on his face, and now he's getting tagged with all kinds of stuff. I mm -hmm. mean, from every angle. But you see, and Chico has not thrown, has not thrown a punch yet. He not a punch. Oh, oh, down he goes again. I knew he was in trouble. The second time in the round that Diego Corrales has been down. He's been befuddled, confused, and frustrated by the speed and the quickness and the blinding punches. And they both have been by left hooks. There's another punch inside. Mayweather looking to finish this fight. Down goes, and he hit him in the back of the head while he was on a knee. That's the third knockdown in this round seven. Ten seconds left. I think hey. the bell's gonna save Chico. Come to me. He's hurt. He was hurt in that round. That's why he wasn't throwing. And here we see the replay where he goes punch. down. And at the same time, it looked like he was slipping. His his right foot was off he, off the ground. He, I think it might have been a left hook that come. There is a left hook. It is. There I is mean, a left hook. How do you defend that? What an accurate, quick, sharp. Punch. And then we see again. Then we see again. He has them off balance, and there's that, the that right uppercut. A right uppercut that hurt. That punch should have been. That punch he should have been uh, taking a point away from because he was already on the, on, the, on the ground. Should have been a 9-8 round then, or 9-7. They're going to stop the fight in Corrales' corner if he can't go on. He's wobbling now. He looks like a beaten man. Well, it's just a matter of time by the looks of it. You know, he's been hurt a couple yeah, of times. They're going to throw the towel in. He got a good left hook. Oh, he managed to he's back up Mayweather. Fighter. He's a dangerous fighter, so you have to be careful. He and managed to back Mayweather up a little bit there. Floyd First doesn't want, Floyd's been hit. And Floyd's not respect him, he's respecting Diego right now. Diego with a nice punch. Corrales coming back when it looked like he was just going to keel right over. Well, they threw it in his head that if he didn't throw punches, that his father and Miguel Diaz was working the corner of, of Chico Corrales was going to stop the fight. Another good combination from Chico. Now Steele's going to break him up. What an amazing little comeback for a man had been on the canvas four times. But if Mayweather gave an opportunity, we said all along, Corrales and has looked bad tonight, but he is a champion. He's a champion, and he has it in him 
to make a little bit of a comeback in round eight. And Floyd right. can't get too cute. And Floyd is, is he's aware of everything. As you see, he sees that. We got a brawl now, there it's on. Man, that's what you have to do to Floyd. You have to make it a brawl. That's what you've been saying. You can't no. can make it a boxing match because he's he's so quick, his hand speed, his footwork. So why not go in there and fight a little dirty, make it a brawl. Oh, he just connected uh, Chico with a good right, with a short right left hook. I mean left hook, a short right hook. Well, Mayweather didn't respect him. Oh, another good left another hook good by, left. But Chico by, is, by Floyd Mayweather. Chico, I think, is a little bit hurt here because he keeps blinking his eyes and if he doesn't throw, his corner's going to stop it. But here we go. He's got him in the corner now. If he can stay there, he might have a chop. But you see, he's trying to throw a chopping right hand when, come on, you know, throw a straight right hand to the arm, to the chest. You know, eventually, maybe one of those straight punches to the to the, to the the chest some may, may actually connect to the jaw of, of Floyd Mayweather. Well, now Floyd Mayweather's. on the outside, Mayweather's fighting on the outside, and that's where you can't find him. He's hard to touch out there. Well, you know, he's... When 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 you see that jab coming of Floyd, right away counter with some type of punch, because you know what, he is so quick with that. I mean, you just have to you just have to wish that one of your punches land. Well, let's see what happens in the final 20 seconds, of round eight. Now Chico finds a way to get him inside, but he's just too quick. Look at the defense from Floyd. Chico wants that situation. He wants him on the rope so he can try to throw punches from different angles to counter the speed of Floyd Mayweather Jr. Diego's been down four times in this fight and he's still alive after the eighth round. Right, right, step right. So well, obviously there is some concern I guess on on Floyd May on on Mayweather Sr. there. This one isn't over yet, folks. Not by a long shot, if, yeah. If Floyd can't throw, he threw the right hand right there. But he's doing a very good job with that, with that left hook of his. It's go time for Corrales, because yeah. he knows he's lost the majority of those early rounds. I'm just amazed at the dynamic that's going on in the corner over there when Mayweather sits down, because he's talking to his dad. His uncle's there. There's a feud going on between the uncle and the dad. It's interesting. And the few was going on with the same thing with, with with junior and senior. Exactly. But yet, you know, it's a family. You know, they put their 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 problems behind them, and now they're one they're one team right now. They have to work as a team. They can't be in the fighting with one another. And right now, the one that should be doing the fighting is Mayweather, as he's doing right now. He's boxing beautifully. He's moving. He's not giving Diego a chance to set or throw punches. Diego's not able to get off in this round so far, but I got to give him credit. For being down as much trouble as he was in. And, and I believe now, right now, is when Diego has to open up. He's losing the fight, so why not go out there and throw more punches? Like, like right, right there. there. And throw him, throw him exactly where you said he should. Throw him to the body and get something working so that you'll have to pull your hands down. Floyd can't come in and or out maybe, if he's pounding on his slow body. Him down. Slow him down. But I think he should have done that from the beginning when the, when the bell first rang. Go in there and throw those punches to those arms. Make those arms feel those pun that punching power that you got. Yeah, he keeps to continue to trying to tie him up and catch him on the ropes a little bit, but all Floyd does is just step right around it. You know, Diego's looking for the head. You can't fight, you can't hit what's not standing still. So you say he needs to break the body down and then the head will be there. You have to break the body down. Whenever you whenever you got a fighter like Floyd, who has very good mobility, good hand speed. Work the body and, and wear it down. Like right there, throw punches to the body. Make make him feel something, you know? Well, Don't I think just walk in and get hit. Diego's afraid to lean over and go for the body because he keeps getting hit in the head and he's been down four times, so. Well, this is a fight and right now he's losing. He's losing one of the, I yeah, guess, the biggest fight of his jab. career right now. There you go, right there. And you see Lee Floyd. He's just taking it in perspective. But you see, he's being, he's, He's feeling those punches, whether he, he we can see it or not. Diego coming straight in. This could get interesting here in this corner. Floyd took this round off a little bit, I think, you know. I believe the right hand is really bothering him, so he is taking it off. He slipped. A lot of water from uh, Floyd's corner. When every time they go out there, they spray him down like he's taking a 
He's taking a shower. <laughs> Well, we're in round 10. If it goes the distance, it'll be 12. And he just caught Diego coming in with a good short left hook. And Diego has been extremely frustrated. You could hear it in his voice in the corner. He's, if he's got no more, he's got no more. But he needs well, to know, find something. I think he's just frustrated. He's not leaving his hands go as much as I would like to see him go. But, you know, it's easier said than done right here. That was a push. That was a push from Floyd. Uh, but you know, that's wasting time. I think Floyd believes he has his fight in hand. If his right hand is hurting, you're going to see him on his motorcycle around that ring. And you know, and he does have this fight won if he continues fighting the way he has. Look at the right hand, though. He said it was hurting. And I haven't seen him keep flicking the jab and just stays out of harm's way. And that's all you need to do when you're winning a fight. If you can win a fight with just a jab, continue doing it and move and do what you got to do to win a fight. He's like right there, you see? Mm -hmm. Every time Chico comes in, he'll snap the jab or he'll snap a hook. And that throws Chico off. Chico just continues coming in with one punch, two punches. That's not going to do no harm to Floyd. You have to go in there and, and be a brawler. Go in there and just throw punches. For, and, oh, good left hook. Down goes Diego Corrales for the fifth time and, in this and fight. I believe and I really believe hurt he's completely one. hurt. Yeah. I think he's completely Stay frustrated. Hey. He looks like he's in trouble, but he looks like a beaten man, and he has really since that seventh round. And, and Mayweather know. hops all over him in the center of the ring. Mayweather looking to close this thing out, close out the greatest performance of his professional career, frankly, if he can do it. You know, I believe I believe that uh, Diego Corrales was thinking of, of shaking Mayweather's hand, and when Mayweather came, he said, "Ah, you know what? There's no shake here." So they started fighting. And he right hand, and down goes Corrales one more time. He bounces back up. That's the sixth time he's gone down. He has really been handled. And they're stopping the fight. They're stopping the fight. Corrales' corner stopping the fight. Because there's no way he can win at this point. And that's probably and why Corrales is mad with his dad. But you know what? His dad did the right thing. Hard, but he was not able to solve the Floyd Mayweather Jr. Look at that moment. This Senior. is a Kodak moment here. After all that talk and all those fighting words that have been done between everybody and, and the press, between the family feud that's going on. And look, you know, this is. This is Okay, baby. Your career is on the way, man. Let's get, let's get, let's get with a lot of this stuff, man. Okay, get to your career right, man. Okay. Come, man. You can just right now, man. You can move to the top, man. You gotta have private things going for you now, okay? I'm telling you, bro. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, bro. You look good. My man. Get that belt, baby. Get this belt right here, champ. Get this belt right here. Some reaction, Hanaro. And here we see again that left hook. That oh. left hook just. Devastating. It was just devastating, and not only that, that was a vicious weapon for, for, for Mayweather. I mean, there's the, a right there's hand a right over hand the top that staggered him and, and sent down Diego Corrales. We got to put this guy in perspective. He is one of the best. The official time: two minutes and 19 seconds of round number 10. The winner, and still. The reigning undefeated WBC super featherweight champion of the world, pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. Well, he made a believer out of a lot of folks tonight.